how you do in the ring. Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines. Hey, the first one was so good, they're going to do it again. We got a much-anticipated rematch in our main event. Ten rounds in the light heavyweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this run to be a burn. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Little get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. No matter what the sport, Teddy, it's very challenging to string together two absolute masterpiece performances. Sullivan's last fight was just that. It was his spectacular knockout victory. And he's looking for more of the same. And to get more of the same, he's got to remember, it wasn't just his power. It was the way he set it up. It was all the little things that he did. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Hands of Stone. Teddy, the expectation matchup like this, a power puncher versus power puncher, is that the fight's not going to last long. But what if it does? What? The guy with less power is going to win because he's a guy that has a reserve, a reserve in a place that he's ready to go to in case the power's not there. Freeman's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and punches. The combination lands. Good right hand. Lance flush with the two punch combo by Hands of Stone. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. 
Riemann's getting himself into the mix now, landing left hand. Hits him in the mug with the right. Carries that punch intended for the head. Goes up top with the right hand. Freeman stunned, and he is hurt. Solid. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. gonna have to pull himself together here now he beat the count but still a lot of work to do yeah a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs can't move around there wobbly right now so what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk Look to the rope for some time make the referee come in between you and break you but smart looking good keep it up keep those hands moving Listen, I want you to pick his jab. That's how you pick his jab. When he throws the jab, you have to start doubling that jab, okay? Double that jab. That will put us in position. He's trying to get momentum back. He gave it away in that last round when he was knocked down. Well, he got a little pit stop in the corner, so now he's got to be like that race car driver coming out of the pits. You know, you come out of there cautiously. Don't get hit with anything as you come out. You don't cross those lanes too quick and then get back into the flow. Focus! Very accurate with the overhand right. Circle. A headshot lock. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. How about that left hand? Locks it away. Not an accurate hook at all. Well-targeted left hand by Sullivan. Hands of stone is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Solid. And he goes down again. And will he get up from this? Still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. What a big shot. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked in again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Continue on, beating the count. A herring hook to the head by hands of stone. Certainly, certainly don't stand in front of it. Listen to me. It's all yours, baby, but you gotta keep working. Keep working, and this is your fight. Don't get laid out, okay? Freeman's coming off a round in which he was shook up really bad. He hit the canvas again. He needs things to change. Back to basics here as you can see the jab becoming a key instrument for him. 
boxing 101. You have an opponent walking in, you want to stay on the outside, use that jab. Freeman's fully committed to utilizing the jab, and I think it's worth. He is not in good. Big shot. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got four. He can't four. He keep going on that war. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. It's over. This fight is over. Hands of stones. Bombs away. Worked again. Knockout victory for him. Just too much punishment dished out by Hands of Stone. That was a very impressive display of power punching. I like the way he finished. He got his opponent hurt. He jumped right on him. He went downstairs, upstairs, ended the night. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.